All right, my number one fan had another request, which is going to result in yet another change to my build here. This is uh, my hardcore barbarian who survived the changes yesterday. That's not my hardcore barbarian, that is my softcore barbarian. My eternal barbarian, seasonal eternal barbarian. But anyway, here's my hardcore barbarian. There he is. Huh, that's different. This, oh, because I changed. Okay. I think I know why that is, but maybe I don't. So, yeah, this is going to be a little different. Alright, here we go. Seasonal hardcore barbarian. The question posed today was about items. So we got the normal gray items, the blue items, the yellow items, which are essentially obsolete along with the blue at this point because of this latest thing. And I have mixed feelings about that. Um, I think, anyway. It's fine, I'm sure. It just takes some getting used to, because now i got to keep track of, like, you know, when I find an item, is it an upgrade? When I salvage... I don't know if it says... If I unequip, if I unequip it, does it tell me down here? Yeah, it unlocks new aspects in the Codex of Power on Salvage. So I assume that means I don't have that yet. This one, unequip it, and then it says unlocks new aspects in the Codex of Power. Yeah, so I don't. Apparently, I don't have aspect of a cursed touch yet either. Uh, this one. This one doesn't say anything. So I imagine that means that that one will not upgrade or unlock. I'm trying to find... Upgrades an aspect. So there you go. So that's the key, is to look at that. So this one, I can just sell. That's how you get gold. And here are my uniques, right? Of course, skill hits four or more enemies. I get refunded. This only applies to walking arsenal. This only applies to steel grasp and then thorns. And that's the thing, is that these... There's level 35, see this is level 18. That's a significant drop in item power. Well, it's a hundred item power. This is a Steel Grasp Berserker type build. I 
I might salvage these. Wait, is this one that unlocks a new look on salvage? So I already salvaged these boots, I guess. Oh, no, it doesn't look like anything. Oh, it's just this one that unlocks a new look on salvage. I might, I might sell these. Yeah, so you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna... I was going to redo this build, but maybe I won't. I kind of want to... Anyway, there's a reason that I wanted to do that. Do this. And that is... I really looked at all of this stuff about overpower. I go into respec mode and I refund all. Okay. And then we're going to go here. And it's not going to change too much. I do want to keep this the same. Eventually I will switch to that. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, this one... The same. Endless Fury, which doesn't really... Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave Endless Fury... Oh, Endless Fury just has one point. I'm going to leave that alone for now. Well... Yeah, because I'm not using my two-handed mace yet. This one... Get that maximum life going. That. Absolutely. And then here. So that was kind of why I wanted that razor thorn armor what's for that increase my movement speed and down to here and I'm just going to go rupture and the reason for that is and this is instead of charge which is a little scary because then the only skill I have that can break um, control effects is Rally and Cry. Alright. I should be okay. So then three into here, Let's max these guys out, that's important, and of course my call of the ancients to bring the extra barbarians into attack, and then these all get maxed out, I get my key passive, however, so I've changed this one from this one that just spins a bunch of, uh, spins a bunch of fury, but deals more damage, and I'm actually going to go with this, a bleeding enemy creates an explosion, so overpowering, when causing an enemy to bleed, you have a chance to equal to your critical strike chance to increase the bleed amount by 140%. Of your critical strike damage bonus. But the main thing is the overpowering of bleeding enemy creates an explosion that inflicts 1391 bleeding damage over five seconds. So the thorns creates bleeding, which will feed into that. So these thorns here. Yeah, they take 10% of my thorns as bleeding damage over five seconds basically bleeding enemies out using thorns. And then Rupture adds to that as well because it has a guaranteed 
overpower. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do this and go for the, uh, the bash because I've already maxed out my two handed sword and that will, uh, increase my bleeding opportunities. Okay. So now opportunities. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that one point into Endless Fury. And now, uh, my math is not checking out here. Let's see, I got that. I've maxed this out. Oh no, I haven't maxed this out. That's why. I am going to go ahead and max that out. So the only thing left is to max out this. Yes, because at level 49 that will be maxed out, so I've done this right. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Oh, and so this is the big thing here. I don't want this one. I want to go back to... This one, which is not quite maxed out but it, it it'll get there because what i'm going to do is assign rupture to this so if i go here and bash oh bash we're gonna cycle and i am going to go with my bone breaker and that has to be the bone breaker and then rupture is my two-handed sword, and that's perfect. Now, rallying cry. I do want that there, but war cry we can put here, and that's great because then this is an L2 skill. That's where I want that. That's perfect. Okay, 